Welcome to the Day Weather Podcast on this Wednesday, the 5th day of January 2022. Brought to you by Chugwater Chili. Try the Chugwater Chili Steak Rub. The smoky and spicy blend of spices is the perfect way to season your steaks, fish, ribs, burgers, and much more. You'll never be bored again with your meat dishes. Try Chugwater Chili Steak Rub today with a discount code CHUGWATERDON for 20% off. Chugwater Chili, the spice of Western life. Well, snow and cold is overspreading the area. For most of the region, it's going to be an Arctic surge in snow over the next 36 hours. Dangerous travel and livestock conditions are developing. We've got the combination of falling temperatures, wind, and snow, and that really makes for a lot of black ice, blowing and drifting snow. If you've got to travel today, tonight, or tomorrow, take it easy. Sub temperatures are going to go sub zero. East of the Continental Divide in many areas tonight. If you don't hit zero tonight, east of the divide, you'll at least be in the single digits. Some areas of Montana and northern Wyoming and the Dakotas will be 15 to 25 below zero. Now, it's going to be warmer, but it's going to get windy again late Thursday into Friday, and that's going to cause blowing snow. Areas that are going to be in the Arctic air with snow today into early tomorrow will then get warmer and windy. So the good news is the Arctic air retreats. The bad news, the Arctic air retreats. When Arctic air retreats, the wind comes in to fill in behind it, and that's going to cause blowing snow, especially I-80 and I-25. Mountain snow showers are going to return early this weekend, so the mountains are going to get a lot of snow today and tonight and tomorrow. More mountain snow coming early this weekend. Now, next week is a quieter pattern. As we get into Sunday through next Wednesday, there really won't be a lot going on. There's going to be a bit of a pause in the action before maybe another weather system next weekend. Here's today's weather chart at 500 millibars or at 18,000 feet. As we showed you yesterday, that jet stream is taking a dip with Pacific moisture and strong jet stream energy overriding the Arctic air that's now coming in from the north and east. One thing we still have to deal with today, this is through noon today. Notice along and west of the divide, there's still a lot of wind. So while east of the divide in the Arctic air up here, the wind isn't nearly as bad as it was yesterday, there's still going to be strong winds from Salt Lake to near Laramie. So blowing snow and high winds, a real problem here, and high winds through the Colorado high country as well. As we go through the next three days, the precipitation forecast we're showing you here looks very similar to what we showed you yesterday. We have this area of heavier enhanced snow along the Nebraska, Colorado, Wyoming border area going up through the North Platte Valley into Wyoming, then back into the west central and southeast and south central parts of Wyoming. Then a big slug of snow in Wyoming's western mountains. The Bighorns are going to get some snow as well. And then as you can see, the front range of Colorado about to I-70 and points north are going to get some snow as well. As you get west of the divide, once you get out of the mountains, there won't be as much snow. This is what it looks like if you convert it to snow. As we said yesterday, some of these mounts might be overdoing it, but as cold as the air is, the air and moisture in the air when it's really cold with this Arctic wave is really efficient at squeezing as much snow out of the air as possible. So in these purple and pink areas, That's where the heavier snow is going to be falling through the next 24 to 48 hours. So a lot of this area going to be getting new snowfall. And if we take a look back, covering more of the western United States, you can see that jet axis and where the Arctic boundary is, is where the action is going to be. These are forecasted low temperatures by tomorrow morning. The gray line delineates where the Arctic temperatures are going to be, at least where it's going to go below zero. And you can see... There's just a lot of resolution in this model with terrain. So you can see west of the divide, some of that purple and blue gets over, but the worst of the Arctic air stays east of the divide with the coldest core of air right here. That's where the temperatures tonight are going to get really, really cold, but dropping down to near below zero down into Denver and northeastern Colorado as well. So pet owners and livestock interests, in addition to the snow, you've got to be ready for very cold temperatures. There will be some areas tonight, especially right here, that could see 30 to 40 degree below zero wind chill value temperatures. We talked about at the beginning slide, good news and bad news. The good news, the Arctic air retreats, but the winds pick up. This is for Thursday afternoon. Notice the winds here 
right here pick up again. And all of these areas I just highlighted are gonna get snow. So blowing and drifting snow is gonna be a headache by late Thursday or as early as noon Thursday into the afternoon hours of Thursday, Thursday night and Friday along I-80. Blowing snow is gonna be a travel headache. So while the snow is done, the blowing snow picks up again. Now the good news is this wind will be a Chinook wind and the Arctic air is gonna skedaddle, retreat after a day and a half visit. As we get into the weekend, Notice the jet stream getting a little more wavy. We've got another little wave coming on through. And this is not much of a system, but it will bring a slug of Pacific moisture so the mountains get snowed on again late Friday night and into the day Saturday. But early next week, this is for Monday and the Tuesday, a westerly flow develops and a little bit of a ridge comes in. So as we get into Sunday, probably through Thursday of next week, I don't see a lot happening. The Rocky Mountain West and the Western High Plains will warm up a little bit. The pattern will become drier even up into the mountains. As we go forward though, we need to watch this. You see this low that's just kind of spinning off the California coast by early next week? Well, we're seeing a tendency that this system may get drawn in to the main jet stream by a system diving south out of Canada. Now, what'll sometimes happen is these lows will sort of merge with the jet stream pattern. What ends up happening is the jet stream ends up looking like this. You get a kink and you end up with a low that may be in the Great Basin and Four Corners area by next weekend. So we're gonna keep an eye on next weekend. That's a really awful eye, that's not a bug. We're gonna keep an eye on a potential weather system Friday and Saturday of next week, but it's a question mark. That, that would be the next major weather maker in the Rockies. So we've got a lot of weather here over the next two and a half days. We've got a break in the weather Sunday through Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Then it's late next week when things start to get really interesting again. Have yourself a good Wednesday. Be ready to stay warm and get the snow shovel and snow blower handy for many of you. Have yourself a good Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow.